Good morning once again, Jay with Great Scott Audio Productions and Bitten by Books Book Bites. Today we're going to go ahead and jump into Area 51. Um, this is a novel by a gentleman with the pen name of Robert Doherty. Uh, it is very much like The X-Files. It's a really cool series and just so many different mythologies and legends and other things that you know we take for granted. Um, everything from the pyramids to Excalibur to just everything. Um, and it's all kind of folded into aliens. Um, I'm going to start a little way into chapter one. A young lady named Kelly has received a letter from and a tape from a friend of hers describing something incredible. So I'm going to jump right in uh, just after she's read the letter. So if it's a little jarring, you can swear at me in the comments and that sort of thing. Kelly smiled as she walked over to her stereo system, precariously perched on a bookcase, made up of cinder blocks and planks of wood. Johnny knew her and knew she had a good sense of humor, but even the humor couldn't erase the instant bad feeling of the Nellis Air Force Base reference had evoked. That Air Force, Intellig that Air Force Intelligence Officer had destroyed her career in filmmaking. Pushing away the negative thoughts, Kelly put the tape in then continued reading. Okay, I'll give you the same information that was in the letter I received with the tape. In fact, I'll give you a copy of the letter that came with it. Next page, if you please. Kelly turned the page to find a Xerox copy of a typewritten letter. Mr. Simmons, in this package you will find a tape recording I made on the evening of, Octo of 23rd October of this year. I was scanning the UAF UHF wavelength. I often listen to it and I often listen in to the pilots out of Nellis Air Force Base conducting operations. It was while doing just that that I picked up the exchange that you will listen to. As near as I can tell, it is between a pilot of an F-15 Victor 2-3, Victor the control tower, tower at Nellis, which uses the call sign Dreamland, and the flight commander of the F-15 pilot, Victor 6. The pilot is taking part in the red flag, force-on-force -force exercises at Nellis. These exercises are where the Air Force trains its fighter pilots in simulated combat. They have a whole squadron of Soviet-style aircraft at the Groom Lake Complex on the Nellis Reservation to use in this training. I'll let you draw your own conclusions from the tape. You want to talk to me, come to Vegas. Go to the mailbox. You don't know what that is, ask around, and you'll find it. I'll come to you. The Captain. Kelly turned the page and the smile, and smiled as she read, Listen to the tape now. Using her remote, she turned, to the, turned the stereo on and pushed play. The voices were surprisingly clear, which made Kelly wonder at the machinery used to make the tape. This wasn't someone holding a tape recorder up to a radio speaker. There was a clear hiss of static at the end of each transmission and three distinct voices, as the letter had indicated. Victor 2-3, this is Dreamland Control. You are violating restricted airspace. You will immediately turn on a heading of 180. Victor 2-3, this is Dreamland Control. Repeat, you are violating restricted airspace. Turn immediately on a heading of 180. Over. A new voice cut in, this one with a muted roar of jet engines in the background. Victor 2-3, this is Victor 6. Comply immediately with Dreamland Control. Over. 6, this is 2-3. I'll be out of here in a flash. Over. Negative 2-3, this is Dreamland Control. You will comply with our instructions ASAP. Over. The commander came back on. They got you, Slick. Comply. You know we can't mess with restricted airspace. Over. This is 2-3. I will... What the fuck? I got... Christ! I don't know what the hell it is. A bogey at three o'clock and climbing. I never... The quiet, implacable voice of Dreamland Control cut. Two, three, you will immediately cease transmitting. Turn on a heading of 180 and descend for a landing at Groom Lake. That is a direct order. Over. The pilot of the F-15 was growing more agitated. That thing has no wings. And man, it's moving. It's closing on me. We've got a live one. I'm... There's a hiss of static. It was close static on top of... 
Static. My God, it's turning... Static. Jesus, it's... The voice was suddenly cut off. Two, three, this is six. What is your status, Slick? Over. Silence. Break. Dreamland Control, this is Victor Six. Do you have two, three on scope? Over. Victor Six, this is Dreamland Control. You will return to Nellis Airfield immediately. The exercise is canceled. All aircraft are ordered grounded immediately. You will remain in your plane until cleared by security personnel. Over. I want to know the status of 2-3 over. We've lost 2-3 from our scope. We are initiating a search and rescue. Comply with orders. There are to be no more transmissions. Out. The tape ended. Kelly sat still for a few seconds considering what she had just heard. She knew the name Dreamland well. She picked up Simmons' letter. Yeah, I know exactly what you're thinking, Kelly. It could be a hoax or a setup like they did to you. But I talked to a friend of mine over at local Air Force ba at the local Air Force Base. He said some of the sky out there near Nellis is most, the most restricted airspace in the country, even more so than that over the White House in D.C. He also said that pilots in the red flag exercises sometimes try to skate the edges of their aerial playing field on the regular Nellis range and gain a tactical advantage by cutting across restricted airspace. <clears throat> If that pilot did want to wander over Groom Lake, Area 51, complex, or try to cut a corner, he might have been seen something he wasn't supposed to. Obviously, he ran into something. So there you go. This is the first of six, I believe, books. Um, these were written a fairly decent time ago in the 90s, so some of the references in the history are going to kind of throw things off after, I mean, since obviously... This was written, no, not obviously now, but it was written before 9-11, so a lot of the things are different for us as that had happened. Um, but if, you, if you're a fan of the X-Files, pick these up. They are a lot of fun. Thanks again, and have a great week.